Jeff Lankman talking right now with the IK Man and Girls 4x800 relay down here at the state track meet. We're going to start off with Peyton Sporter who ran the first leg today. Peyton, how did things go for you? They went good. How'd you feel like your range? You get off to an okay start today? Yeah, I think it felt good. Short kind of turnaround for you. Um, after running the 3,000, did you feel strong? Yeah, I did. There was lots of adrenaline and stuff. I did. Talk about how you ran. Talk about how things went. What were you thinking while you were running your 800? Um, <laughs> our goal was to get PR in our time, which was 10.18 was our PR. So we are going to try to PR in our individual so we can do How did things go with Miranda then? Did you get a good, good hand yes. up? Yeah, we had a smooth hand. Okay, let's move over now to Miranda. Miranda, how did you feel like you ran here today? Um, I was kind of on autopilot. I don't really know how I felt about it. What was it like being down here today? Um, I just, I, it was great. I love being with these girls. Spending the weekend with them is great. Let's, let's talk about you know what you were thinking while you watched the other girls run today. Um, I knew it was going to be a lot of like competition. And it's just the, the did you feel like when you look back now and kind of thought about it, do you feel like you ran a good race today? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What are you going to take away from today besides running with this group of kids? Um, it, was a, it was a great experience. My four seasons and I finally got here. Well, I tell you what, great work and congratulations on getting down here. Let's move over now to Eliza Graybell. And Eliza, uh, how did you feel like today? Um, it was hard, so I know that I ran hard. Um, I feel tired, so I know that I worked hard, and I'm so glad that I got to be here for the first time with the, this group of girls. What was it like running on the blue oval? Amazing. Everything that I ever hoped for, dreamed for, definitely. Tell us what some of those hopes and dreams were. Um, just knowing that I worked really hard to get here, and so did everybody else that's here, and it's just awesome to hear other people's perspectives, and now I can say that I really got to do it. Who gave you the best advice before you came down? Um, probably my coaches and just being encouraged by all the people in Manning and around the area. It really helped us get where we got. Well, I tell you what, congratulations. Great job. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Let's move over now to Cheyenne's board who ran the anchor leg today. Shy, a freshman down here on the Blue Oval. What's it feel like? It's awesome. It's great being out here with these three girls, and we really worked hard to get here. So it's a big accomplishment. Running that anchor leg, you got to see the other three girls run before you do. What What are you thinking? What do you? How are you watching them? Yeah. How are you preparing yourself? Well, it's hard. I just watch to see you know where their place is, and I try to pick out girls that are the other teams that I think we have a shot at, and talk to the other anchors standing by me, and see you know just kind of get the feel for how it's all gonna be. So. What was your goal here today? Um, my goal was to um, PR if I could, and then we also, as a team, wanted to try to get our best team for by a score. I think we got that by about a second. Did so, you really? I think so. Congratulations, yeah. then. Great effort. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.